I just got off a call with a coaching client and one of the things he asked me was, what are some ways that I can help my sales team avoid complacency, continue to get uncomfortable and continue to grow? And I said, well, let me ask you a question. What are you doing to get uncomfortable right now? And of course he looks at me like, well, what does that matter? I thought we were gonna talk about some strategies that I can use to my sales team. And I said, yeah, I, can, I understand that. But if there's one thing that I've learned about leadership, about parenting, about anything else, is that people will not follow what you say, they will follow what you do. And when we ask people to do that which we are unwilling to do ourselves, it is not where we have maximal influence and impact, and it is certainly not where we outperform. So believe it or not, one of the best possible ways that you can motivate a sales staff or anyone else to continue to get uncomfortable is if you get a little bit uncomfortable yourself. And if you are vulnerable enough and courageous enough to share this with people and say, hey, I'm actually doing this thing that's a little bit outside of my comfort zone that challenges me a little bit. And when people see you doing that, they will follow what it is that you do.